beyond our world, there's another world. And it's right here, on my face. Welcome, this is Horizon. Tech companies have been flirting with the idea for quite some time. Social VR platforms that promise all sorts of fun in a virtual universe that knows no limits. A second life that's better than your offline daily drain. One, two, three, four. Second life? Hang on, wasn't that the last time a company tried to sell the VR dream? Anyway, a big shot is giving it a go this time. Facebook will launch its new VR platform Horizon later this year. And so will XR Space, a new startup founded by the former CEO of HTC, Peter Chow. Sounds intriguing. But will social VR platforms take off this time? Apart from that, do we really need a social VR experience? If so, why could it work? And why could it fail? Let's take a closer look. A new virtual world with endless possibilities. Facebook's Horizon, as well as XRSpace's Minova, claim to be just that. Both platforms were supposed to be launched in early 2020, but the COVID-19 crisis got in the way. Both aim to launch later in the year. But what do these metaverses have to offer exactly? Let's start with Horizon. Mark Zuckerberg has already made two attempts at creating a social experience in VR. Facebook Spaces and Oculus Rooms. Zuckerberg, who bought Oculus in 2014, wants a better, more immersive platform. Spaces and Rooms didn't really succeed. And there is no other social VR network out there that's used by a lot of people. Horizon wants to change that. After creating your avatar, who doesn't have legs, you can explore different worlds within Horizon. You jump through portals, play mini-games with friends, fly planes through the desert and meet new people in the town square. With a world builder tool, users can create new places and make them open to the public. Or keep them private, for example, if you just want to hang out with your friends. Now, XR Spaces platform Manova has a similar concept. There are private areas like a customizable home, but also conference rooms and classrooms. The public places include a city center, nightclubs and beaches, for example. And then there's the Magic Lohas, a wellness area where you can sign up for yoga, tai chi or meditation classes. Facebook's Horizon looks a lot like a fun and entertaining place. It feels like we're in a Pixar movie. Manova has the fun part too, but it seems like XR Space wants to create a world that's much more than that. Plus, the avatars are a bit more lifelike and they have legs. So coming back to our question, do we need this? I think the COVID-19 crisis has shown how important technology is to keep us connected to friends and family. With social distancing measures in place, apps like Zoom or House Party have become more popular. These numbers show the increase in downloads between February and March 2020. So that's before and after the COVID lockdown started in most countries like the USA. Digital places where we can meet and connect with others in a new way are on the rise. So has the time come for a social VR network to conquer the market? What do you think? Would you join Facebook Horizon or Manova? Let us know and leave a comment below. Okay, that brings us to question number two. It's not just social distancing that could make the idea of a social experience in VR more popular. The idea has been out there for a while. And there have been others who've tried it. Like Second Life, the platform came out in 2003 and was pretty successful for a while. What made it so popular is the fact that users can create their own personal avatar and even design their own spaces. And guess what? A lot of the most popular destinations designed by users are VR porn sites. So that's what people do when you give them the freedom to design their own stuff. If you're interested, check out our videos on VR porn in Japan here. Horizon and Manova are nothing like Second Life, simply because they're designed for VR glasses, so the experience is way more immersive. Both platforms only work with their own set of glasses. Facebook's Horizon will work with Facebook's Oculus Rift and the newer Oculus Quest. Manova will be available on the XR Spaces VR glasses Mova, which haven't been launched yet. Mova claims to be the lightest and smallest VR glasses on the market. Plus, it doesn't need to be connected to a device and there's no controllers. You simply use your hands. Facebook's Oculus Quest offers hand tracking as well, which makes the experience more immersive. Portable 5G glasses, no controllers, great. 
the technology seems finally ready for socializing in VR. But are we? The biggest downside or risk is the same as with any social media. Privacy. How much data are you willing to pay to be able to use a public VR environment? For the company, it's just another chance to collect a lot of data and sell advertising space, of course. Imagine you're having a beer by the beach, talking to a friend. And suddenly, your VR experience is interrupted by some ad that pops up. And it could get even worse than that. Ex-employees of Second Life claim that there has been data misuse, money laundering and child exploitation. So, abuse could be an issue. Will there be any authority to turn to if you're assaulted in one of the new VR worlds? Horizon will have so-called Horizon Locals. These human guides are there to protect and guide users through the metaverse. You will be able to block and report people just like on Facebook. Another thing, both Facebook and Exaspace rely on users and partners to create or upload their own content. That means that especially in the early days, the platform could still be a bit, well, empty. So the more popular Horizon and Manova become, the more content there will be to explore. Exospace wants Minova to be a place that people will go to every day. Do we really want that? I think that as long as social VR platforms don't have more to offer than what it looks like at the moment, I would rather meet my friends on a video chat app. What's your view? Let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.